Hello again, and here we are. I'm going to talk a little bit more about printing and how you can set up your print driver. What I'm going to be looking at today is black and white printing using the Epson um, Stylus Pro 3880. And uh, <coughs> other Epson printers are pretty much similar in that the print driver should include an ABW mode. And this is what's going to allow us to print the black and white image uh, to very high quality. It's also a little bit easier to use than setting up color management. Now, if you take a look at the previous video I recorded, you'll remember that I set up the color management here to use a profile for the Epson Stylus Pro using the type of paper that I was printing with, which is all great and it will work with black and white, but there's actually <coughs> sorry, a much easier mode you can use. So what we'll do is we'll now set up Lightroom and the print driver and I'll just show you how this works. First off, we will set the color management to be managed by the printer rather than managed by Lightroom. The next thing we want to do is go over to this page setup option over here <clears throat> and here we can set up the printer properties and once we're in the printer properties all we need to do is set the media type as we did before so again I'm going to print to uh, some Epsom fine art paper so I'll just use the matte option here and instead of using color here I'm going to use the advanced B W photo mode so this is also known as ABW and what it does is it gives me some controls in the print driver rather than having to set up the um, color management in Lightroom and then hand over all that color management to Lightroom so again I'm going to set the quality options and I'm going to set that to maximum quality which gives me the highest resolution here so I'll leave that as it was before and now when I go into color controls and I pick up the um, the advanced tab I'm actually getting into this which is the ABW mode now these settings all relate to how the black and white image is produced and you can set the color toning the tone um, and a couple of other things so here you've got a before and after that shows you a comparison now the color toning you can actually set it to cool or warm or sepia depending on what sort of image you want to produce so I'm going to actually go for neutral which means there'll be no color change if you wanted to actually tone your image you can also drag the tone around here until you pick something that you quite like uh, but again I'm just going to go for neutral in terms of the tone itself um, what you can do here is pick light, normal, dark, darker, darkest. Now, just from um, the sort of experimentation I've done, darker doesn't always work very well. Dark is probably one that you want to try as a starting point. After that, if you find it, the image is too dark or too light, you can adjust to one of the other defaults. You can also change some of the brightness, contrast, and shed shadow tonality here um, just to uh, adjust those settings if you wish but usually one of these tone options here is really all it takes to produce a very good image so I'm going to go with that we'll click OK and then it's just a matter of setting up the size of your paper once you've done that click OK OK again and that's the printer driver actually set up so that we can now print to uh, this black and white image as a high quality image without having to use any color management in Lightroom. Everything's handed over to the printer. Epsom have done a brilliant job with the ABW mode and it prints superb prints every time. Hope you found that useful and keep watching for more tips in the future.